Shit. Where's my knife? I started with, oh, the knife. Give me the, I want the knife. I did that one last time. Can't do it again. All right, let's see what the, uh, the stork brought me. It's always a stork. It's always a stork. And I realized I should have unboxed my CPAP machine, which helps me sleep immensely. It just hurts my face, by the way. Because like you wake up and you don't feel like you were struggling to breathe all night, it's great. Oh shit, it's the feel box. I haven't got a feel box in a minute. I never liked that phrase. My friend James, who's Belizean, used to say like, yo man, I'll beat it a minute. I haven't seen you in a minute. Like everything was a minute. 10 years was a minute. It's been a minute. But now I say it and it's fucking, I hate it. The Fio KA3. Now they're going with this rainbow. Rainbow Bizarre Adventure. Bizarre Soldier Turkey Soldiers. That looks different from other Fio products. Shake it like a pack of smokes. Okay, so we have got USB C to USB C with a USB C to USB adapter, a regular USB A adapter, or that A or B. I never could fucking tell. I don't know. I never could tell. I don't know. So we got this that goes to this. It's got a nice, like, it's a wound rubberized coating, which does not want you to unwind it, which is nice. And then we just got this. Crap, it's another dongle DAC. How many dongles? Oh, the 4.4 Pentacon with three and a half dongle DAC. Is that a button? No, it's not. So apparently, this is a Jade Audio DAC and headphone amplifier with a high res sticker. And it's got actual ridges for like cooling. So who knows? This thing might be spectacular. I'm not a huge fan of dongle DACs. I, I would love this if they said this can plug a four pole into it and get a microphone to go to my phone. I could use it for phone calls. I'll be so down. What this? Ooh, the FA7S, which has been completely redesigned. Um, I was like, yes, give me that, you bastards. Give it to me. Looks like we have multiple things. Okay, doesn't show me the, uh, the what's it called? We're looking like we have some standard feel fa fucking packaging here. Yep, everything fell out of the box. We've got a little unscrewer thing. I don't know why we have that. Why do we have that? I don't want that. Then we've got, we should have three tips. 2.5 millimeter, 4.4 Pentacon, 3.5 must be on it. Got the Feo magnetic cable. Oh, Jesus Christ, this thing's really magnetic. Fuck. For wrapping on the wires. And that means this comes out. We've got a little brush, a little, little, little ear goo brush, which belongs there. And then we have a taped up wire. There's our tip collection, pretty standard on all Fio stuff. Well, let's close back up so I can just get back to business. I wanna get back to business. This is the unboxing experience. By the way, why are all Sal's pizzerias so good? I had a Sal's pizzeria today. I didn't eat the pizzeria, I'm not like Godzilla. But man, those garlic knots. Go find a Sal's pizzeria with good garlic knots. It's a Sal's pizzeria in Little Italy in Manhattan that uh, deep fried calzones out of this world. It's like it's it's like dessert dough with cheese and sauce and fucking sausages and ch and chicken anything you want in there. I think these are a dynamic. They're way like this picture does not indicate that that looks like it's shiny. Well, I guess the back isn't shiny, but the sides are definitely chrome. I prefer a non, I prefer brushed aluminum over chrome, like chromium aluminum. Nice big red and blue indicators in the wires. Interesting, ah, I dropped it. I got nervous there for a second. All right, let's put this all back together. Bring this down to the burn-in rig. We'll give that a burn-in, we'll give this a burn-in, we'll burn-in, 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 burn-in love. Burn-in my love. I, I just, I gotta upload a bunch of uh, unboxings for Princess Pasta today, because she's down to two. It's 
I, she hates when I date the episodes because everyone's like, what do you mean it's November 1st? Why isn't this video out like November 2nd or November 1st? Like, shut the fuck up. People who are complaining about the unboxing channel, you don't understand. I don't have to make these. These really don't even pay for themselves. It's just a good way for me to, you know, get some content out there. And you guys like to see it. And I'm sorry if they're not in the right order. I would love if these all came out. Like, oh, Zeos reviewed the Meze Empyrean Elites. Oh, yesterday he unboxed it. So that's all convenient. Or last week he unboxed it. And I was looking forward to the review. It's just, it doesn't work that way. I do two, three weeks without downloading this camera. And then when I'm done, I download it in mass. And then I just combine short clips. Because sometimes I just do like one box showed up. Four and a half minutes. So that's got to be combined with something else. And that's got to be combined with something else to make a 12 to 15 minute video. Okay, so pasta. Um, linsole links, baby. Lots of linsole links. Because linsole was like, hey, have you done the musician asterisk? And I'm like, I've done one musician product. And they're like, all right, we're going to send all of them. And I don't think this is all of them because we've got some other stuff in here. We've got the tin hi fi. P1 Plus. Didn't I just review the tin P1? No. Wait, the P1 is the point? Oh, Jesus. See, these longer videos. Because I'm going to do like the whole box, I think. I don't want to. I usually check the time. I didn't check the time when I started. So now, pasta's like, fuck. I've got another 15 minutes of this shit. And I'm like, I'm sorry, baby. But if I had to stop it and start it again, it'd just be too many. And it's like, I gotta throw the garbage. <laughs> the meatballs are getting to me. Which own is this? Ah, the other. When I did the Shenzhen plus topping EX5, one of the. Oh my god, look, they didn't survive the fucking trip. Let's put those right back in there. So, they never ever survive the trip, they never go. Where they're supposed to go. Is it supposed to pull out of here? Because I'm pulling it out. I don't think I'm supposed to pull it out. That's raw cardboard. No, that's definitely that unglued. <sighs> Just keep trying, Tin. You, you're going to get this one day. You're going to get it to keep the IEMs, which looks smaller than the standard P1s. The planar ones. These are the ones I really, really liked. Then the Tin P2s came out. I'm like, I really, really like those, but you can't power any of them. They just require an actual fucking desktop amp. With like a watt. And everyone's like, no, I can get it to run on my phone. I'm like, you can't. The fuck? This is a fucking weighty fucker. How many wires are in here? Just one. It terminates in three and a half millimeter and they're MMCX and you've seen this wire before. I like that. We've got a bunch of tips. I'm going to try to make this go quickly so I can get through most of this. So I have to set this up. Get these on the burning rig, along with the Fios. Let's quickly, quickly rip out this. So I did that Shenzhen topping, and I was talking about uh, combos, DAC amp combos, because you could think about a bunch of just amps, GSX Mini, the Singzer, the A90, the fucking, you know, number of, actually, you know what else? I forgot the Wall and Topaz is a DAC amp combo. But um, I forgot this one entirely. My very fir the first thing Aoun ever sent to a reviewer for a video review was the Aoun X. No wait, this is the X1S GT. This is a new one. The X7S was their balanced one. Wow, they really needed to explain that to me. Oh, you can do the external clock on this. I wonder if they're gonna send me the external clock unit. Why is this so heavy? This thing isn't heavy. What the fuck's so heavy in here? Oh my lord. So much wiring. So this, I love Owen's house sound. We discussed house sound in one of the videos. And they've got like, you could tell they've gone more awesome because they've got like a lit ring. It looks like that's gonna be clear and lit. It's got a red indicator, it says GT. Got our four buttons, got 4.4 .4 pentacons, so it's balanced and quarter inch, rubber feet, Holy crap. USB input, optical input, coaxial input, 10MN in for reclocking. Um, apparently it says uh, 768 and DSD 512. Power switch, audio out and preamp out. So wait, this is their new, 
this is a this is completely different than the other stack, the other own stack, because this has three inputs and balanced and not just a regular output, but a pre. Well, I like this thing already. You are, I like you can come to my house and fuck my sister. Um, that is insanely large. Do not use this. Look at the fuck. No. Uh, USB cable, actually probably a really nice one. I might use that, I'm getting low on USB cables. Like, co like full size. Quarter inch adapter. The caps for the RCAs, which aren't on the unit for laziness reasons, I guess. And power supply, which has gotten much smaller from the original uh, own products. Pushing out nine volts to 2.55 amps or 23 watts maximum. Uh, this thing might be awesome. This thing might be awesome. We'll see how awesome this thing is when I give it the full review. Until then, I'm just making a fucking mess in my kitchen trying to sort it out. <sighs> Pasta, I'm sorry. I've got to go into the last two things. I'm just making, the, I'm going the full mess. So apparently there's two musician items in here. Now, a musician sent me the Pegasus a long time ago. I think that was direct from them. And that unit had issues where it just would turn into shit after three or four days. Because it's, uh, it was a um, R2R DAC and it started warming up and it warmed up and it fucked up. And then uh, now it works fine. Now I have it and I use it and it works fine. So go figure. But they also sent me a new one that was silver that wasn't the same color. I didn't quite like it. Wow, Linsol sent me a lot of shit. I guess the Pegasus did well. Wait, Poseidon did well. Musician Pegasus. There's another Pegasus here in silver? And then there's the Andromeda in black. I told him I did the Pegasus. Are they just handing out Musician Pegasus Eye? Because I'm pretty sure this is the same deck that I've already done. Oh, they cut the back so you don't get it cut off now. Oh, God. It's a couple scuff my Oh, it's just dirt. Okay. Yeah, this has gotten slightly heavier. So, yeah, though, I've already done the Musician Pegasus. Well, thank you for the, the thought. Worst case scenario is I review this one and it ends up in the yard sale. I'll ask them if they want me to forward this to someone else though. But here's the new one, or the amp, this might be the amp version, in black, which I didn't think they had black last time. Yeah, this is the Andromeda. So this is their headphone amp version, which are, oh, is the same fucking insane weight. Hold on. Holy fuck. That is a very strange volume knob. Like it's a dome. It's a half dome. Power, 4.4 Pentacon, 3.5. I'm sorry, 6.35, which is a quarter inch. It's your XLR. And the back has just balance ins and outs. Fuck you. Do not hook up an RCA to this, you prick, is what they basically just told you. And it has a switch for, oh, do anything from 110 to 230. I don't think you have to switch it manually so where that's i don't know how much that costs but i'm sure it's not cheap and i know that thing was like 1700 dollars. let's look at the specs in this amp before we go can we look up those specs in english there we go oh my god i don't know what's going on noise test output power so four and a half watts into 16 ohms uh balanced and then unbalanced, only 1.1 watts. Still pretty fucking good. And into 600 ohm, 370 milliwatts balanced and 95 milliwatts unbalanced. I'll give this a test. Maybe this thing is amazing. I may have to take this to the Capital Audio Fest, which just again dates the video. Look, a normal size little baby connector for this monster instead of a monster. I'm done. I got potatoes to deal with and then fucking waifus and we, we got to do things in order. <laughs>